You got five seconds to name something worse than having a dead car battery. Time's up, buddy. The one thing worse than having a dead car battery is having peace of mind that you have a jump starter kit in your trunk only to go to use it and realize that that battery happens to be dead too. That's why we have the AutoWit Super Cap 2 Super Capacitor Jump Starter that takes care of that problem completely. This is actually available on Kickstarter right now. I'll throw the link down below if you want to check it out for yourself. And because it's a Kickstarter campaign, we don't actually have the retail packaging, so this is what we got. We got the product, just no fanciness. But anyways, as you know, jump starters generally have a rechargeable battery built in. So you charge it up, you put it in your car, then every few months the battery is gonna drain itself and die, so you're gonna have to recharge it. Otherwise, guess what? It's gonna be dead when you go to use it, and then what's the point of having it? The Super Cap 2 actually eliminates that issue because there's no battery in here. It just contains a super capacitor, and it's pretty cool how it works. Of course, we have the jumper clips, which are very strong and very high quality, as well as a cigarette lighter power adapter. And of course, the actual Super Cap 2 which is feeling very nice, very durable, very sturdy. It'll definitely withstand the test of time. There's not really too much to see. We got this nice black and orange design, which looks really nice. We got a little screen here that lets you know when it's ready to start your car. And really there's not much else to see, although we do have some stuff here on the back, including some error messages that might pop up depending on if you do something wrong along with some warnings so you don't do something wrong. There's nothing really to see except for on this side, we have this little flap that has a bunch of different stuff going on underneath. We have the connectors for the clamps, the cigarette lighter port connector, the micro USB connector as well as the power button. And the power button does work when you have the flap on. You can just push the power button and it clicks. Now the way this thing works without having a battery and can actually get your car started is you get this connected. It can only go in one way. Very simple, easy, right? But you're probably thinking, hey, there is no battery in here. How is this gonna start anything? Well, that's where the magic happens. You get this connected to your battery, positive and negative. It's labeled right here on the clamp so you can't go wrong. And then at that point, you wait about three minutes. You just leave it connected to the battery, you just chill, relax, take a sip of your drink, eat some food, whatever you want to do for three minutes. Did somebody say three minutes? So anyways, during those three minutes, it's going to actually draw whatever power is left in your battery to here to charge up the super capacitor. So that way, in turn, once this is charged after three minutes, it's going to send the power back to the battery to let you start your car. Pretty magical, right? Because usually in a case like this, your battery is not completely dead. But in a rare case where your battery is completely dead, maybe your car has been sitting for a long time and it's completely 100% drained, you're not gonna have any power whatsoever in that battery, so this actually won't work in that case which kind of sucks. Although they do have a plan B for such a situation. You can actually charge up the super capacitor in here with an external source, whether it's a power bank for your phone, somebody else's car with this. When I watched the video, they did imply that you could use this in your own car to charge it up, but that doesn't make sense if the battery is completely dead, that wouldn't work. But really all you gotta do is plug this into some other power source for a few minutes, get it charged up enough, get these clamped onto your battery, and then guess what? I'm assuming you don't have to wait the three minutes at that point since you already charged this up and then you can start your car. So there you go work around and it works as long as you can find somebody else. But then again, in these days, I feel like almost everybody actually has a power bank with them at almost all times somewhere. So you'll be able to charge this up usually. For example, let's get this thing plugged in with a micro USB cable. It beeped and as you can see, it's charging up. Once it gets to 100%, we can use it to jumpstart the car and it's actually charging up really fast. It'll actually do the same thing when you connect it to your car battery, except it's going to be charging from the car battery instead of through a micro USB cable, which is pretty awesome. And speaking of micro USB cables, if they want this thing to last 20 years, why didn't they put a USB type C cable to keep it future proof? I mean, in 20 years, no one's going to have a micro USB cable laying around. Trust me. I'd kind of be surprised if we had type C cables laying around at that point, but definitely no micro USB. So you better hope your battery's not completely dead when you go to use this thing. As you can see, this thing charges up very fast. We're already pushing 20%. So you'll be on the road in no time, no matter how you decide to power this thing up. But seeing as how that case probably won't ever happen when you're stranded somewhere because you've driven your car and your battery's probably not completely dead in that short amount of time, unless your battery is really, really bad, then you should probably get that thing checked out and stop worrying about trying to jump it every time you need to drive. This will actually last you about 20 years. So you can just throw this in your car, leave it there for 20 years, and then guess what? Hey, my car won't start. You go grab this thing, connect it, and bam, you're good to go. And that's pretty amazing because this thing is 100% maintenance free. Because remember, if you have a battery in it, you have to keep constantly charging it every few months, otherwise it's gonna be completely dead when you go to use it. With this thing, 
As long as your battery is not completely dead, it'll work for 20 years. Just set it and forget it. That's pretty much as easy as it gets and that's what I like. So now let's head outside, connect this thing to a battery and test it out a bit. All right, we are outside. It is a very cool 107 degrees. I would test this thing out on my Tesla, but I don't even want to get into that because that's going to be a nightmare trying to do. Weird flex, but okay. We're going to try it out on this Ram 1500 instead. Take a look, we got it all set up, ready to go. And here is the Super Cap 2. Right there we have the 12 volt battery. We got the Super Cap with the little clamps right here. We got the positive, black one is gonna be negative. So very simply, we're gonna go positive to positive and negative to negative. And as you can hear, we got a beep, which means we got a connection. And as you can see, it is rapidly charging up. We're already at 13% after only about 10 seconds. I did notice after the initial 20%, it did slow down a bit, although it is still climbing pretty rapidly. Once it hits 100%, it says press to starter and means it's ready to start. And you're ready to get back on the road. But what happens if you put it on backwards? That's a very good question. I'm glad you brought it up. Let's find out. So this time we're gonna put negative to positive and positive to negative. We got a beep and it's continuously beeping and says reverse polarity. So that means you better take it off because something's gonna go horribly wrong. Back to you, Roderick, on the inside where it's nice and cool. And we are back. So all in all, this thing is actually super nice. I'm definitely gonna leave this in the trunk of my car because I highly doubt my battery will ever be completely drained because I don't roll like that. If my battery's going bad, I'm getting a new one. And, and the best thing about it is I have a Tesla. So that 12 volt battery is definitely not gonna be dying enough to not be able to use this thing since I have that high voltage battery and they're constantly charging it up. And if that battery goes bad, I'm pretty sure there's enough juice in it to use this thing to jumpstart that thing. So other than having a micro USB port, which I don't think I will ever have to use personally, but you know, in that one case where you might have to use it in 20 years with a micro USB cable, good luck, buddy. But if you wanna pick one of these up, I'll throw the link down below for the Kickstarter so you guys can go check it out for yourself. Let me know if you guys picked it up for yourself and let me know if you prefer a super capacitor one or maybe the battery one and you just will charge it up yourself whenever you need to every few months. I don't know, I like the easy way. Set it and forget it for 20 years, simple.